There's one economic study which shows that lentils can be a quite potent incentive. This took place in rural Rajasthan in India, and it involved children mostly between the ages of one and three. The question was, would the children receive a basic package of immunizations involving immunizations for polio and measles and also other maladies? The thing is, it would take five or more trips to the clinic for the child to receive all of the immunizations, and the question was, was the parent going to bring the child enough times to see through this health care benefit? The researchers considered 134 villages, and they randomized the treatments assigned to these villages. In the control group, well, that was the status quo. And under the status quo, going to a health care clinic and hoping to receive an immunization for one's child, it's not actually a totally reliable experience. For instance, the health care worker simply might not be there, or the immunization might not be available. Knowing this, of course, a lot of parents don't even bother. Treatment A was guaranteeing reliable immunization, that is, if the parent brings the child to the clinic, the parent knows that the treatment will be there and available. And treatment B was to have reliable immunization available, but also to combine that with an incentive for the parent to bring the child. And that incentive would be a packet of lentils. It was one kilogram of lentils, which in terms of U.S. dollars is worth about one dollar, and that was for each visit, and the parents also would receive a metal plate for each visit, as you might eat a tali from, and that was worth about two dollars for each visit, one plate per visit. Obviously, there's now an incentive to see through all the visits. So the control group received the immunizations about six percent of the time, which of course is not a great record. The group given reliable treatment received the immunizations 18% of the time. That's three times better, but in absolute terms, it's still hardly impressive. It means you have 82% of the children not getting full immunization. And finally, the group that had both the reliable service and the small incentives to bring the children, well, they received the full package of immunizations 39% of the time, which is still far from perfect, but it's much better than either the 6% or the 18%. The lesson here is that even fairly small incentives can really matter. This was a study from the Poverty Action Lab at MIT, and you can Google too, Improving Immunization Coverage in Rural India.